hello everyone uh, peace of Christ to all this is just uh, uh, I want to share this uh, with you here uh, we have a Muslim who uh, uh, post a comment and you know uh, I want to take advantage of the Muslim comments uh, because they can help us really a lot to understand what Islam is about uh, this person here in front of us let me share with you on the screen uh, this will be like a little video just to share with you how the Muslim try their best to defend Islam uh, this person his name is hunter look what he said to me this is about the video uh, the one it says was Muhammad born four years after his father uh, I want to show you what this gentleman he post he's a Muslim you are trying to prove your point by quoting al-waqidi <laughs> are you serious Look what Muslim scholars said about him, and he started in saying that this guy is a liar. They, his hadith is what it says, hadith matruk, which means he is a liar. Okay, you know what? Uh, first of all, if you watch my video, I said I was looking for something in English to show people, and this is why I use Al Waqidi. Now. I can show you tons of Islamic books speaking about the same thing Al-Waqidi he said or what Al-Waqidi said that Muhammad was born you know uh, four years after Muhammad other books saying the same some other books saying um, uh, Hamza was born four years after uh, sorry four years before Muhammad which mean the same so you try to escape from Al-Waqidi says Al-Waqidi is a liar all of you are liars now as long as you are saying to me that those uh, scholars they say this Muslim qala matruk al hadith all right al shafi'i qala katab al waqidi kutab al waqidi kullaha kadib did he just say the shafi'i okay well before i go there as long a person who is a liar you should not take his hadith and look how many reference about this guy he is a liar this guy is a liar okay and here is the translation look all those reference saying al Imam al Waqidi, and by the way, this guy is a big scholar in Islam, but obviously, he got Muhammad busted in many places. So, the Muslims, the only way to get rid of him, they say he's a liar. Now, I will go with the same rules you go with to say someone is a liar, we should not take his hadith. This is Al Azhar University. Where is Al Azhar University? Here we go. Let me take you. To the address do you see it uh, it says as I don't know what that okay Muntad al Azharin. yeah it is the club for the the people who graduated from Al Azhar University all right uh, look what they say about Hafs sadly I cannot find something in, in English but I will use the Arabic one look Hafs Hafs ibn Sulaiman al Kufi. Hafs is the one the Muslims they copy the Quran from. The Quran is coming from who? From Hafs. Okay. What Hafs the Muslim they say about him? Qal al Bukhari. Listen, listen. You are the one who said to me in English that al Bukhari said that this guy is a liar. Right? Here in Arabic, you said to me, al Bukhari, qala matruk al hadith. Muslim, qala matruk al hadith. Al-Shafi'i qala kathab. Read with me. <laughs> Read and laugh. All right. What Al-Bukhari said about Hafs? Taraku qala Muslim. Matruk qala Al-Hafiz ibn Hajj. Matruk al-Hadith qala Abu Ahmad al-Hakim. Zahib al-Hadith qala Al-Haythami. Da'afahu al-Shaykhan wa ghayrahuma qala Al-Turmudi. Yudha'afu fi al-Hadith qala Al-Bayhaqi. طرقه كلها ضعيفة قال البزار أناسيده أسانيده واهية وقال في موقع أوضع آخر ليس بشيء which mean all of those are saying I don't want to count all of them all of them they are saying this guy is a liar not only they say his hadith he is rejected they accuse him that he is a liar look what السخاوي said حفص ضعيف جدا بل اتهم بالكذب والوضع حفص is a person who accused to be a liar and his hadith is rejected 
so as long if somebody is rejected why you take Quran from him the Quran you have between your hand is from this guy all those names they are calling him a liar what the heck they leave his hadith he is a liar he's a liar he fabricate hadith etc all, all of those people they say that this guy is a liar so why why you take the Quran from this guy you see the Muslim they have double standard however who care about al waqidi you know as I said I was showing al waqidi because this is the only thing I found online in English like now if I find something better than this I'm showing in Arabic I will show in English so people they can read and they understand what we are talking about now was it you who posed for me this website this Abdul he posed for me a website isn't it this is your website this is exactly the same website I'm reading from this is exactly the same website huh? I'm reading from let us see what the same website is saying you want to read and you want to laugh here we go as long as you're trying to prove to me from this website that this guy is a liar okay well let us see the same website Markazul Fatwa. Hmm. All right. Who is you see here in this web same website you gave me? This is the same website, web islamweb.net fatwa. They are saying here that in the book of at tabaqat al kubra are you happy? Okay. Leib Nisad, are you happy? This is at tabaqat al kubra قال أخبرنا محمد قال 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 etc 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 okay or blah 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 okay so they are talking about the birth of Muhammad and look what they say here in the same book of الطبقات الكبرى that Muhammad is born read with me كانت في حجر عمها وهيب ابن عبد مناف ابن زهرة فمشى إليه إليه عبد المطلب بن هاشم بن عبد مناف بن قصي etc etc so it you know this woman Amina she was in in her family living with her family and then Abdullah ibn Muttalib he asked for you know for this woman and the the daughter you know they so they so they married two daughters at the same time right both of them. Now, how many scholars they say that Muhammad is born four years before uh, 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 Hamza? Tons, endless. I can show you endless number. This is the book of Ibn Hajar. Don't tell me now Ibn Hajar. You know this is about sorry. Al Isaba fi Tamiz al Sahaba Ibn Hajar. الكتاب الإصابة في تمييز الصحابة المؤلف أحمد بن علي بن حجر أبو الفضل العسقلاني الشافعي. Now don't tell me this guy is a liar. Alright, look what he said. كما ثبت في الصحيحين as it is confirmed in the two صحيح. ها؟ وقريبه من أمه أيضا لأن حمزة حمزة أم حمزة هالة بنت أهيب. Let us zoom out so we can read everything. Mm, all right, even though it's going to be small for you on the screen, but uh, you know what? Let me do this so we can get the text better. I apologize for those who do not know Arabic, but you know, this topic, Muslims, we don't have really translation unless you want to go and read my book. But I'm trying to use Muslim websites and Muslim books in front of their eyes so they don't say we are making things up as simple as that. Otherwise, I have it. I have the reference in my book. All right, read with me, Abdul. So it says here, uh, uh, it's confirmed in the two Sahih uh, that uh, his his relative uh, from his mother's side, لأن أم حمزة هالة بنت أهيب ابن عبد المطلب بنت عمي آمنة بنت وهب. Okay, so they are relatives already. Anyway, now. He said here, he he was born 
two years before Muhammad and some they say four years so who is the one saying that this is Ibn Hajar one of the biggest scholars ever in Islam two years or four years it doesn't matter really it, it doesn't matter what the two years or four years will not make any difference because that means Muhammad is a son of adultery we just showed you from the website you, you, you like from at tabaqatul kubra that Muhammad father and his uh, grandfather you know they marry in the same day from two two women then Muhammad father he, he died you know he passed away so how the women she got the bread net and as you see both they marry in the same day both they marry uh, uh, from the same family two women both they step with them in the same night and then the second the other guy the father of Muhammad a few weeks after some they say three months he, you know, he, 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 he never saw his wife after that. He stepped with her. He went on a trip and he died there. So how do women she get to Britain? It? Let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, because here it says two years and some they say four years. So Hamza was born two years or four years. It doesn't matter how the mother of Muhammad, hmm, she was able to bear a baby two years after her husband's death <laughs> even though they are saying here for years too so the scholars here the scholar he is reporting it's either two years or four years he is not sure however we will take the minimum and we will take the maximum two years or four years now is this guy is a liar post for me let me see how many how many scholars of Islam is left are not liars for you and I can show you tons and tons of reference but as I said, anyone he get Muhammad busted, the Muslim they call him liar. And I saw you showed him Hafs, 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 the one who the Muslim they read his Quran, he is a liar too. But yet they take the Quran from him. His father, the father of Hafs, which is his stepfather, the one who Hafs learned the Quran from him, he's a liar too, and he's a thief, and he's a scam, and he's a liar, and his hadith is rejected. You know how you accept two guys, the founder of the Quran. To be the one who give you the Quran if they are both accused to be liars in Islam and now this story is not accepted because this guy is a liar all of you are liars Muhammad is a liar Allah is a liar Fatima is a liar Aisha is a liar who is of you is not lying there is tons of reference look all those reference all those books I can copy for you from now until tomorrow. A Sira Nabawiyah, Ibn Hisham. Is a Sira is a liar? Yeah, the Sira is a liar. A Sira al Halabiya, the Imam Burhan ibn Din al Halabi. He's a liar. Yeah, he's a liar. I mean, who left? A Tabakat al Kubra, Ibn Saad. He's a liar. Huh? I mean, who left? If there's anyone left, Al Khasa'is al Kubra, Ali Suyuti, volume number one. Page number 132, 133, 134, 135. What? A Suyuti is a liar. Who's left? All of you are liars. All those references speaking about the same story. Liars. All of you are liars. Al Bidaya wa Nihaya li Ibn Kathir, Tazwiju Abdul Muttalib, Ibnahu Abdullah, volume number two, page number three, 316. What? Obviously, Ibn Kathir is a liar too. So the story with Muslims is like, you know, you have to play, uh, uh, you know, hide and seek. There's no honesty, there's no dignity. And anyone, any scholars of them who will make Muhammad look bad, they call him a liar. I agree, all of you are a bunch of a scam. قال ابن هشام عن ابن إسحاق عن إن عبد الله عبد المطلب بما فدا ابنه عبد الله etc 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 and they get married in the same day you see it ابن هشام is a liar guys there is tons of article they are making tons of article against ابن هشام do you know why because ابن هشام one of the first people who report the stories of Muhammad life all the stories coming from him and because this guy he exposed a lot and not only that ابن هشام he said that I write or I wrote the stories after filtering them so all the disasters the Muslims they have about the Muhammad after filtering so imagine how much information is dumped this is after filtering and because you know because 
still after filtering there's a lot of garbage which is exposing Muhammad lifestyle the Muslims they start talking about Ibn Hisham they call him a liar because they are in denial they will not accept that this is our prophet they will not accept that the prophet like uh, the prophet the amazing prophet he do this no way when Muhammad and his cousin they walk in the street in in uh, uh, in Mecca do you know what what the hadith says they say that he is the same as a Nakhla, the same as a palm tree. Nobody knows who is his father. Like, he's just coming from the ground. So they make fun of him. And the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad is from the highest family in Quraysh. What highest family? What a fabrication. All those stories speak about Muhammad, horrible life and his history. His mother, obviously, she was a bad woman. She was renting herself for for sex. Uh, anyway, like uh, it's funny how the Muslims always they try to get away with their stupidity. But I'm so glad that a Muslim uh, he tried to defend his religion. No problem. But what is so good about it that the Muslims they reach the point they accuse their own scholars to be liars So don't think so if you see Muslim accusing Christian Prince saying to him liar. I mean why they will not do that They accuse the scholars of Islam to be liars scholars people who have to spend their life praying to Allah They have a long beard. They have big names. They have tons of books to, to promote Islam. They accuse them to be liars So why you are surprised to see Muslims accusing Christian Prince every day to lie. Are you getting my point? You know what I mean? So, if they say the Christian Prince is a liar, Hafs, the, the one the, the, the one they get the Quran from, they call him liar. Asim, the father of Hafs, the one they get the Quran from, is a liar. Uthman, they killed him. Uthman, they killed him and they pulled the hair of his beard one by one before they kill him and then after they kill him not only that they refuse to bury him with the with the Muslims they buried him with the Jews why because they accuse him to be a liar too everybody is a liar they will the Aisha she waged war, a war against Ali why because he's a liar and Ali he waged war against Aisha why because she's a liar <laughs> you know what I mean this is a religion the the only title they agree upon that everybody is a is a liar the, you know you know you know Muslims why Paul did not kill Peter and Peter kill Paul and why they did not put knives in each other and why they did not take army against each other you know you are talking about those who are the companion of Muhammad the wife of Muhammad you want to kill Ali the Ali they want you want to fight uh, uh, Aisha uh, uh, the the grandsons of Muhammad uh, the grandsons of Muhammad get killed by Muslims why because they are liars obviously the Muslim they took side with the family which hate the grandsons of Muhammad you believe it and they killed them they slaughtered them like like chicken and now the Shia the stupid Shia they go and visit them and they 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 go in their belly to their grave and kiss them and it's supposed to this Hassan al Hussein is from God you know they are gods you know they have they have their own religion so everybody is a liar in Islam my friend everybody it doesn't it does don't don't try so don't ever think that a Muslim when he say Christian Prince is a liar he is being rude it is in their blood everybody in this cult is a liar. There's only one name they don't dare to say he's a liar that is Muhammad the rest are liars Ali is a liar Aisha is a liar Abu Bakr is a liar Uthman is a liar I mean you name it Omar al Khattab is a liar there's tons of articles against them so it's very funny when a Muslim he tried to defend his religion and it is very very telling how this religion is very desperate to find a solution for the stupidity they have in their cult 
you know they are suffering from a cult and this cult come with the problems and it, you know it doesn't matter really how many stories you show them how many hadith you show them how many proofs you show them they will say that like in like you notice here they jump from saying to me you are a liar to say yours their scholar is a liar <laughs> you know what I mean they are not saying no more Christian Prince is a liar they are saying now yeah, the scholar is a liar is very well known liar yeah he is a liar this is scholar he, everybody knows he's a liar you know who for me one is scholar is not a liar Al Bukhari is a liar Sahih Muslim is a liar now if I show you a hadith written by Al Bukhari and you don't believe in Al, -Al, -Al Hadith what, what does that mean that mean you believe Al Bukhari is a liar because why Al Bukhari consider this hadith Sahih if he is if it is not unless he is a liar you know what I mean they accept what they like they reject what they like they call name to what they like and the whole purpose to defend their prophet but it doesn't work why in the world this guy al waqidi want to make statement against muhammad why he is a he's a he's a christian uh, born again christian why he want to attack muhammad why he want to say he's not saying he's saying what he learned anyone anyone they don't like what he say they accuse him in a second to be a liar but anyway so don't be surprised when you see a Muslim saying uh, exposing Christian Prince they are exposing their Bukhari they are exposing their Sahih Muslim everybody don't agree with them exposing Al Bukhari exposing Sahih Muslim brother exposing Hafs Hafs is a liar so if, if their own people they are exposing them they say we expose them so who is left Huh? Translation of what I caught above. Look at this. Look at this. Read, read, and laugh. Al Waqidi, Al Shafi'i, he said Al Waqidi is a is a liar. But my friend, your Shafi'i did not say that this hadith is a lie. Because I just showed you what a Shafi'i he said. I showed you what Ibn uh, Hajar uh, al-Shafi'i, what he said. Ibn Hajar himself. <laughs> Al-Bukhari said that Al-Waqidi is a liar. Well, Al-Bukhari said that uh, Asim is a liar too. And by the way, who is Al-Bukhari? I mean, you see the Muslims? The most dumb people ever. Nobody knows who is this guy, Al-Bukhari. They have names, all right? There's many Muslims they say uh, most likely he doesn't even exist, and there is many reasons to believe that Al Bukhari is a fiction. Why? There's no book of Al Bukhari. You see, when I, when I, when we go to the book of Hadith here, and we search for Al Bukhari, you know, like we we find you something from Al Bukhari, you see Al Bukhari, and you read it, you think this is Al Bukhari. There's no Bukhari. There's no book. It's called Al Bukhari. This is a book. Copied from book, book from book. Somebody claimed that he copied from copy from copy from copy from copy from copy. Bobby, 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 all the puppies in the world from Al Bukhari, but they don't have Al Bukhari. Where's Al Bukhari? Same for Muslim. Where is the book of Sahih Muslim? Nobody have it. They, they call it Sahih Muslim. Why? Because somebody said that he copied from copy from copy from copy from copy, Bobby, 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 from Sahih Muslim, but they don't have Sahih Muslim. And you can imagine how difficult at that time to write uh, to copy all those books I mean it's a mission of lifetime you know like how many books Al Bukhari he have how many books how somebody can copy all those books thousands and thousands and thousands of pages you know we are not talking about computer you post a link and then you click a uh, print and then all those books will be printed we are talking about hundreds of thousands of, 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 of stories. Who in the world is going to be able to, to, to collect them all in his lifetime? 
if you don't have the book, where do you get the hadith? Uh, I, I memorize it. Who in the world can memorize this? And the Muslim, they say Al-Bukhari was memorizing all of this. Like, uh, who in the world would believe such a garbage? Some, they say uh, Al-Bukhari, he used to remember more than a million hadith. Some, they say two million. Some, they say three million. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> look look at the books the one guy book this is one guy 97 books do you see it 97 books all of those remembered by one guy and then there's other guy who heard this guy and then he remembered them too and the other guy, he heard this guy, and then he remembered him too. Look, everybody at that time, they have an amazing memory. They can remember millions of stories, word by word. The prophet said, ahem, ahem. <laughs> it's a stupid religion. It's a madness. And then, you know, like whatever Al-Bukhari, he says, it's God. But until... You find them something stupid, and then they will say Da'if. Okay, hold on. I thought this is Al Bukhari. Is Al Bukhari Da'if? So, why you call him Sahih? Do you know what Sahih mean? Sahih mean correct. So, the name of the book correct, but the book is not correct. So, Sahih Al Bukhari was the, 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 the holy Bukhari for centuries, and now people they are finding that this book is full of stupid things about Muhammad. So, they start accusing Al Bukhari to be a liar too. Everybody in his turn today, Al Waqidi, tomorrow, Al Bukhari. Everybody is a liar, anyway, guys. I just wanted to share this uh, video with you, uh, to refute this Abdul. By the way, there's, there's videos we made a few days ago, and nobody's watching them because you guys, most of people, they like to watch the live one or the last one, and then there's many videos we made. Previously in the last few days, you know, they have uh, not much of a view you like you find a video have like 3,000 of you and then a video before it have uh, 800. I mean why and Even the one maybe before it is even more important But because this is was the last one stayed in the page for a day or two before I make a new video uh, <clears throat> Yeah, actually, you know what their stories they say in the Shia they claim that al-Bukhari was even blind and he don't speak Arabic <laughs> The Sunni they answer then they say no, no, he was a blind when he was a kid Yeah, right. Anyway uh, So, uh, you know, it's it's a uh, it's tons of fiction stories stupid stories And I want the Muslims to tell me which book we can consider to be a true book of Islam Because even your Quran is not one which one? Can a Muslim tell me which book is the authentic one? You don't even agree about the Quran. You don't agree about the Hadith. You don't agree about your scholars. You don't agree about scholars today. You don't agree about scholars before. You don't agree about the Khalifa before. You don't agree about the Caliphate before. So what? What we will do? Right? Okay, Adrian. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm working in my book, so I saw this comment. So I said, let me take a break and get at this Abdul, you know, get him some uh, candies. You know, the Muslims, they deserve a lot of candies. Uh, but, you know, the, 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 the thing about the Muslims always, uh, they go, they are copy-paste. But nobody want to ask himself, really, where did I get this from? I mean, this guy who he were able to find me that this guy is a liar <clears throat> Why he did not find look for the same story? I showed him and he will find that there's many scars not only this guy You don't like the scars. No problem. I said in my previous video I look for something in English to show you in the screen. That's why I use Al-Wajidi or whatever his name Waqidi, whatever his name uh, 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 in, in the screen because it's in English but doesn't mean I approve him. I don't approve any Muslim. There is zero Muslim to approve. I will never approve one. And this is the only fact I know. Uh, do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim he don't like what we are saying? 
well if you don't like what we are saying you know feel free you can drink camera urine you can do something you know, pray to Allah pray to Allah to uh, to destroy all those books brother Allah Akbar Allah he can do that you know I I, I, I saw Allah how he destroyed the Kaaba when al Qurmuti he came Allah he protected the black stone when the Christians they came to destroy the Kaaba but Allah did not protect the black stone when the Kaaba was full of Muslims I mean <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. May the Lord bless you and see you. Mm, I cannot say tomorrow because already we are in tomorrow. Already we are in Sunday. So see you uh, Sunday in a few hours after 4.30 p.m. New York time. All right. Thank you and good bless. Take care.